Hello and welcome to week 11 here in Research Methods and in chapter 11 we are looking at experiments. Now the thing to understand about experiments is when we are looking at the relationship between two variables we start off with a correlation. So if we think there's a relationship between two variables first we have to determine whether or not there's a correlation, that positive correlation, negative correlation, doesn't matter. So we determine that there's a correlation, but as we've been emphasizing throughout, uh, we emphasize it throughout statistics, and certainly we emphasized it when we talked about correlations, uh, correlation does not mean causation. So if we are looking to identify that an independent variable has a causal effect on a dependent variable, that is done in the realm of experimentation. Now what experiments do is they manipulate the independent variable, try to control for all the other variables so that the only effect on the dependent variable, the measured effect of that, is because of the independent variable. And then oftentimes experiments are done in sort of an A, B, A, B, scenario and you, you'll see this uh, maybe concretely if you take the behavior management class which is largely based on an experimental method so if I'm going to use a reinforcer let's say to increase a behavior that I want to see I would start off with a baseline of how much behavior is happening. Then I would go into the A experiment. The A experiment would, I would introduce the reinforcer, measure the effects. Then I would, the B version, I'd take away the reinforcer. And if the reinforcer is what's causing the behavior, the behavior should go down. And then when I reintroduce the uh, the reinforcer, the behavior should go up, and A, B, A, B, A, B. We should be able to see a pattern over time if that variable truly is a causal var variable for the, that the IV actually causes the DV, or powerful influence on it. So we often move from correlation studies to experiments where we manipulate the variable. Now, in the discussion, what I want you to do is, is to come up with something, like come up with any sort of uh, situation out there and design sort of a thought experiment. How, how would I manipulate an independent variable in order to uh, determine causation on a dependent variable? And this is fictional, so you can go into the area of, you know, of whatever it is that you want to uh, describe. I'm looking for you to be able to successfully identify um, how we would move from an observation of a correlation into designing an experiment. In the quiz, I'm having you look at a resource of, it says that the 25 most influential studies in the world of psychology. Now these are, they're anecdotal, they're sort of descriptive, essay-like descriptions of these assignments. It's not the research articles themselves. But what I want you to be able to do, there's a number of questions. The first question is, of course, give me the name of the study. And then the next two questions is name the independent variable, or one of them. Name the dependent variable. The independent one is the one they manipulate. It's either there or not there, or they change it or whatever. And what are they measuring in terms of outcomes? And then I want you to construct the, the null and alternative hypothesis that is presented by the study. So that would be a description of the relationship between those variables. Well, you know, does the presence of one increase or decrease the dependent variable? What is the, what is the, uh, what was the expected outcome of that study? And you're basing this on these descriptions of these studies, not on the, not on the uh, articles or research papers that came out uh, because of those, just based on what you're observing. So you have the uh, discussion and the quiz 
looking at experiments, one you're designing yourself in the discussion, the other one you're looking at any one of those 25 and determining, again, the name, IV, DV, null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis. So that's the expectation for this, uh, for this week. Continue working on your projects. There's still a good amount of time to get those done. I will be uh, spending a little bit more time each day going into those and grading them and keeping everybody up to date here. So reach out if you have any questions. Have a great week, and I will see you next time.